Today was a big question mark in terms of Black Ops 4 because it's a Tuesday. Normally every Tuesday we see at least a playlist update happen and we also see some title updates come out on those days with the occasional one coming out on a Monday. So today all eyes were kind of on if we'd get something of a download for a new update for Black Ops 4, what it would bring along with it, and well, it fell a little bit short. We surprisingly didn't have much of an update at all, but a few things were changed out that we'll talk about here in this video. So today I want to talk to you guys about some of those small changes here and also some new problems that came about as a result. So that said, let's just jump right into it. If you logged on today, you'd end up getting a playlist update that would probably make you refresh the game and simply just kick you back to the main menu. And that's all that really happened. That was around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I believe 5 or 6 p.m. GMT. I can never seem to nail those two times down whenever it comes to daylight savings time and when it's in and when it's not. So around that time, whenever it's normally your update time in the UK and to any other time zones in Europe as well. But regardless, that update took double XP offline. That was probably the big thing that you'd notice here with this one. There's no more double XP or double merits in multiplayer zombies or blackout, which is a bummer. I really would have liked to see that maybe continue on for another 24 hours to keep that celebration going of the new year, but no more grinding out now for multiplayer zombies or blackout ranks, or at least not in as fast a manner. It also took the 50% off deal offline within Blackjack Shop and also the Contraband Stream. For those of you guys that missed it as of the weekend as well for those four days, we saw 50% off the buyable tiers within the Contraband Stream, and then every item in Blackjack Shop was discounted, which kind of caused its own little commotion as a couple of days earlier, the big item of say Ultimus to KO and the twice weekly items were all full priced and then therefore players that bought it then ended up paying 400 COD points more than anybody that took advantage of it during that weekend deal. So that was something that was a big bummer but that was taken offline and the only other big things that really changed were new items in Blackjack Shop and the special orders. Outside of that not really all that much really did refresh if anything at all and if anything did I'm totally missing it I didn't see it whenever I went and examined Black Ops 4 earlier in the day but as for the new items on the PS4, leading off with that, the Excalibur battery outfit is now available. Then we also got a handful of repeats in the way of the Sultana Zero outfit, as well as the Cherry Blossom weapon camo. Other new items added included the Bubblegum battery outfit and the Wrecked Calling Card, plus the Toxic Boar tag. And a little side note, not that I think that anybody really bought these ever, but Treyarch, if you're watching, can we please remove these types of things from the shop? Like, I personally don't even see the need for a reticle or a tag or a calling card for $1, and even if it is just $1, I don't think anybody would be interested in that. So, I know that I've spoken out about items in the shop before and not being worthwhile, but I'd gladly take a $3 camo like the Cherry Blossom over these any day, or hell, even a more basic camo in the daily slots for $1 on the rotation. World War II showed off some interesting sort of bare bones camos, and I think honestly if you were to get like a white out or a matte black one, that would look really cool on some weapons, and if it's something that's that bland, it could be just for a dollar and in the daily rotation. But I'm hoping for at least something in the future that has a little more value. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But these actually brought up an interesting little issue, which we'll talk about in just a second, but to kind of give you the fill of everything else that's brand new here at this one of the special orders, we ended up seeing the Crimson Lotus order for 800 COD points. This will give you an emote, a couple of tags, a calling card, and a helmet, and the overall outfit of the Crimson Lotus. Ultimately, I think it's pretty cool for a theme, but I'm not sold on it for $8. If this were in the tiers, I think I'd be all for grinding it, but when I've got to activate the contract plus grind out the tiers, I think I can live without it. Additionally, there's one for Torque for the Sterling set, which again is a few tags, a calling card, an emote, a war paint, and then the uniform itself. That again is 800 COD points, but I think for this one personally, I'm gonna pass. I'm not really much of a Torque user in any capacity, so it makes it hard to get interested in that one on my end, but again, you could totally differ. If you're interested in those kind of uniforms, those are available for 800 COD points. And on the Xbox One and PC side, it's stuff that you might have already seen from the PlayStation 4 footage here on the channel in the past week, but in the black market, you have Ultimus Takeo for the next week for 800 COD points, which of all the skins on the market, I'd say is probably the most interesting to me and most worthwhile since it's a whole new character in Blackout, but again, not necessarily if it's not your cup of tea. Then you have the Desert Eagle Profit Uniform for 800 COD points to start the twice weekly items. Then you have the reticle and the face paint and your dailies of a calling card and a sticker. In the special orders, you end up having one for Cypher, that set relating to Zero. This one's not bad at all. It's 700 COD points for a uniform, a few tags, a war paint, an emote, and then finally the Cypher Reactive Camo, which now looking back on it while making this video, I actually 
actually missed out on. I was curious and slightly intrigued on getting it because I'm a camo guy, but I unfortunately, my indecisiveness held off a little too long and I guess I just missed it. So I unfortunately won't get this one, but after that, you have the Damio Recon set for 800 COD points, which again contains all the previous items mentioned minus the reactive camo. That said, that is the stuff that was updated here within Black Ops 4 today. Stuff that was not changed and some stuff that kind of surprises me is that we did not get any sort of playlist update. Half Off Heist is still there, unfortunately. I'm not a big fan of that one. I'd prefer something different, but such is life. There were no blackout limited time modes or events going on that were added in here to celebrate the new year. There's no weapon balancing, no new content really whatsoever, and of course, no actual update itself even. I mean, no physical update you had to download, such as the 1.11 title update for Black Ops 4 that will be coming as the next title update. So really a lot didn't change. But here's the thing, and I'm not worried at all about this. If there's gonna be an update, it's very possible we see one tomorrow or Thursday, though honestly, I'm not necessarily banking on those. It wouldn't surprise me if we just see the next update come next week and this week's kind of just like a hangout type of deal and play how you will. But the big thing as to why I'm not worried as it wasn't today was, well, because it's a holiday. Chances are, unless you have a job that works in the public, you and I are probably both off for the holiday of the new year and then everybody starts to go back to the offices tomorrow. And so therefore, that's why I would expect this to kind of be not necessarily something that is a big priority for one update, making sure it's on a Tuesday. The things that we saw today, those were already in the game. They were already a part of it, but just time gated. And therefore that's why at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's why all that happened exactly at that time. It's completely automated. There's nothing that has to have somebody sitting down at a desk at Treyarch saying, okay, we're gonna flip the switch right now. Not like that, so this sort of stuff is all hands off. People at Treyarch and all across the team at Call of Duty are probably still on vacation here finishing up their final couple of hours with their family before they get back to the grind and before they get back to dealing with content in the future of Black Ops 4. But like we mentioned, there was something about the uniforms and the things for purchase in Blackjack's shop that we'd come back to, and that's where this sort of hands-off approach, everything being automated, kind of now comes into where it creates kind of a problem, because if you bought some of these items, you may be among the many that have been affected by this, but some of the items actually don't show up after you purchase them. So therefore, the unfortunate part about this being a timed event and a timed release for PlayStation 4 users, I don't know if I've seen anything in relation to the Xbox One and PC content just yet. I think I've seen primarily these issues of everything happening on PlayStation 4 with the newer content. So therefore, it might just be quarantined to one platform, which is at least better than across the board for everything. But it is still a bummer that this being a timed release, there's nobody that can really take care of this at the moment. But obviously, if you end up paying money for a uniform, that's gonna be something you wanna take advantage of and that's something that you want to be able to get immediately so for it to not happen is really unfortunate so I would expect as we start to get into tomorrow when everybody starts to funnel back into the offices and take care of everything at hand that's gonna be one of the big things on deck of course all bugs and glitches are probably on tap for things that should be completed and things that they're looking into but if people pay money for that sort of thing there's obviously another sort of pressing urgency to that so if you ended up buying your uniform or anything here on PlayStation 4 and you noticed that it was missing don't worry you're not alone which is unfortunate fortunate that, again, you're not alone and this is a pressing issue, but it is something that I would definitely expect to be fixed out by tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. So just hang tight if at all possible. I know, of course, it's a massive inconvenience and it'd be awesome to see if something could come of this where you get 100 COD points back or something like that, but truth be told, I have no idea if that would happen. But just like Xbox One X crash fixes for blackout and everything like that, this is definitely on the radar of Treyarch. I can almost guarantee that and it is a lot easier to fix out more than likely than actually just something that causes is a game to completely crash. So hopefully that's fixed out by tomorrow. In terms of other things to look out for, again, if there is an update coming, I would expect it to be delayed slightly, but maybe not necessarily this week now that we don't have one time for today. So if it happens, it could happen tomorrow, it could happen Thursday, or maybe not happen at all until next week. But there are some things like these changes, and again, like that Xbox One X crash that does require an update and is a pressing matter that we'll want to be taken care of as soon as possible. So still likely we do get something, but just not not today. Today was rather small in the grand scheme of things and again was just time gated and minimal update stuff. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Just want to keep you guys in the loop because I know some of you guys were asking in yesterday's comments about what would have been something that changed from today if there was anything they missed. And so therefore, I want to give you guys the heads up on everything here with this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well. 
what are you hoping here out of the upcoming update for Black Ops 4? And when do you think it will come? Do you think it will be coming tomorrow, Thursday, maybe not until next week? Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4, multiplayer, blackout, zombies. We got you covered the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff we got you covered. And I got some really cool series planned that I'm really excited to debut here coming up in the next couple of days to weeks on the channel. So stick it right here if you don't want to miss any of that kind of stuff. One final thing, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. Practice can live on both those. If you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. But all that's said and out of the way, thank you guys all so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.